Greetings! Today I've got another power bank setup uh, kit thingy magic from eBay, and uh, this is um, this is what it is. So it's uh, it takes four um, 18650s in here, and mind you, it doesn't come with batteries, so the batteries are uh, mine, salvaged from something. Uh, but yeah, the kit comes like this. So you've got one. Uh, well, the, the the tray with the electronics uh, charger circuit and uh, uh, molding for the battery. Um, this goes into aluminium extrusion like so. And then we've got the backing plate that's meant to clip on over here, uh, which I haven't clipped on because, um, as you later see, once this is clipped on, this is not coming apart. Uh, without uh, destructive uh, force so it's a one-way uh, thing so I'm just keeping this aside I, I, I like the idea of being able to uh, uh, pull this open and um, have a look at the change the batteries or not and so you get the idea um, anyways so this um, this charger um, came from eBay and it cost uh, actually let's have a look there it is. Um, so it costs one pound sixty-six or two dollars fifteen, um, approximately uh, at that time. And um, yeah, the item number is two five two four one zero nine seven four six five seven. And uh, yeah, it comes in a range of colors, and I've picked the gold one because. Um, because it was the cheapest actually the price uh, varies a few uh, uh, 10 or 20 pence uh, between the different color variants um, but okay I've picked the gold one that's fine um, and um, yeah it, uh, it took quite a while actually to come uh, but it came recently and I've, um, I've plugged in the batteries into it um, and the batteries are connected in um, in parallel with uh, all, all four 18650s. In, in fact, you could you could use it with just one battery, and um, that would work just as well. You can put two, three, or four, and um, yeah, it does enough. It just changes the the actual capacity. It will still up work absolutely fine with just one battery. Um, so it's quite handy as a multi-battery charger. The only thing is, if uh, when you when you start charging, it's important that the batteries are somewhat at the same level of charge. So if you put four four batteries in there, um, you've got to make sure that four of them are flat. Uh, if you put one one fully charged and one flat, then um, all sorts of weird stuff will start happening. So um, yeah, the the fully charged battery will start charging the discharge battery, and it it may cause some problems. Not always, um, and they don't have to be perfect. Um, I mean, if they're uh, if they're a little bit off um, on the uh, on the on the charge level, uh, they will they will actually equalize themselves. Uh, but it's just uh, yeah, if you if you've put it put a, a fully discharged and a fully charged battery, that mo might result in some flames. Um, anyways, um, I've tested it while charging, and I'm actually quite impressed with uh, with what this does. So. Um, first of all, uh, the charging current uh, at maximum it was one amp uh, at five volts, uh, which means um, roughly about uh, an amp goes into a bank of those four 18650s. So, uh, provided they are at an equal uh, charge state, uh, puts at a maximum of uh, 250 milliamps per cell, which is uh, which is a low charging current. So. What what it means? It's uh, it the batteries like it. I mean, the the batteries are just getting literally massaged with uh, you know 250 milliamps, and um, that's good for the batteries. They will they will last longer with a with a low charging current. Um, but the drawback of it is it takes ages to actually fully charge the 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 whole bank. Um, it actually actually took. Uh, over 12 hours for for this to fully recharge because as the voltage on the batteries increases, um, the charging current drops and at one point at, in the final uh, charging stage, um, the voltage, um, well, the current going into this was um, in the range of 20-30 milliamps, uh, 
so yeah it, it just takes a long time that final stage is, is quite slow um, but anyways um, the output wise will connect something um, onto it uh, but what I was really happy with um, is um, it actually stops charging dead at two, uh, so 4.15 volts um, so that's really good for batteries um, so they they're not getting overcharged like in some of the other uh, other banks and if I just get my power source so this was uh, this was charged yesterday and I left it on and now if I plug it in um, so that's upside down but you can see the current is zero so it's um, very often when the batteries are getting overcharged in a in a power bank um, you you often see that it will stop charging but when you unplug the charger and plug it back in it will start charging again it will actually start drawing some current um, and very shortly the current will drop down and yeah that will stop that's a, that this behavior is actually a sign of overcharging the batteries um, so basically what's happening the battery is full and the, there will be 4.2 volts on the battery or whatever the voltage is for the battery that you're using but what happens um, afterwards the uh, the charger circuitry has got a threshold slightly above that so it's overcharging the battery so because it's seeing the voltage on the battery not at that level it will start pumping a little bit more current into it and eventually the battery voltage will raise up momentarily while the additional current is being put through and this is what actually is not good for the battery but uh, it will raise up and that will trigger the circuitry to switch off uh, switch off the charging but as soon as you unplug it uh, the battery sort of cools down comes down and the voltage goes uh, down to the nominal voltage of the battery and um, you plug it back in and it will start charging but this one doesn't do that so that's because um, the voltage threshold for battery charging is at 4.15 volts. They, so those batteries are probably charged at 99% um, or 97% maybe um, of its capacity. But uh, yeah, it's um, this is really good. It has a switch, uh, a button on the front uh, with a power symbol on it. But it doesn't actually uh, switch it on or off. Uh, merely pressing this um, has got the indicator uh, light comes on uh, on the on to show you what sort of charge state the batteries are in and um, yeah this also blinks uh, while charging so it will tell you the, the you know one or first second third or fourth LED will, will be blinking while you're charging it so um, you get the idea what uh, what stage uh, of charge your device is at so let's have a look Let's have a look at the circuit. So the the whole thing is the usual setup with just a wire connector on one side. Let's get a little screwdriver. Okay. There we go. That's the that's the circuit board and okay this way up let's zoom in okay and what we have here is a TPS MP3411 um, 1608 that's probably a date code and 43F1 so MP3411 so we'll have a look at the data sheet maybe uh, on this in a moment um, but yeah a few uh, quite quite busy actually as far as a uh, power bank I've seen much simpler um, a few components uh, soldering is so so I guess it works so no complaints um, nothing on the nothing on the back the back is empty there were a little A little, a little too little solder for my liking but um, okay and uh, yeah one one coil it hasn't got a pass through um, so that's uh, that's a shame uh, 
um, it's not doing pass through so it, it means you're either charging it or discharging you can't uh, do both at the same time which sometimes comes uh, comes in handy uh, if you've got a really uh, really powerful uh, charger that it's putting out two three amps maybe and you want you've got only one socket and you could technically charge the batteries off of the same socket plus uh, charge your phone at the same time but uh, okay um, Anyways, let's let's look at that TPS thing. Okay, I haven't found the actual data sheet, uh, but I found on some weird uh, Chinese website that uh, Google kindly translated for me. MP3 411 spec version 1.2. It's a linear charging synchronous boost discharge, um, built-in charge discharge power MOS programmable. Charge current up to one amp. Synchronous boost maximum output current of one amp. Original uh, boost output terminal regulation technology. Okay, so yeah, according to this, it's a one amp uh, output, uh, which is okay, I guess, for charging and stuff on the mobile. But it would be nice to have a full 2.1 amp uh, output on the um, on the USB. Um, and here is a circuit for it. And this is pretty much uh, exactly what uh, what we've got uh, over here. Um, the only thing that is on here that uh, is on the schematic, but it's not implemented, is that LED, uh, which I'm not sure what it does. Um, but yeah, we've got those um, four LEDs um, over here: USB in, USB out. Uh, we've got the inductor battery. Um, and yeah, this is uh, this is a nice uh, nice little charger circuit. Um, so mainly, I'm quite uh, quite happy with the with the charging current of this, and uh, well, the, the threshold voltage and and all that just means that the batteries are going to last very very long time in this. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, it's a nice power bank. Thing to note uh, on the mechanical side of the things uh, of this, uh, it didn't actually fit the case, so I had to, you know, do a little bit of a scrape uh, on the edge uh, of the plastic around, all the way around, so it fitted um, inside the enclosure. And you can see if if I've put this on and it, it's got those clips, if it clips in, this is not coming apart. So I will either leave this out or think of a different way of. Uh, Maybe I'll just remove the clips and press fit it uh, in here because I don't want this to be permanently closed. Um, but I kind of like the look of uh, look of the thing. I'll see. Um, I'll see. Anyways, um, really nice power bank. Um, low charging current. Um, four batteries, uh, one amp. So roughly 250 per battery uh, minimum. Uh, maximum one amp uh, with uh, you know with a single cell inside. Um, one amp output, um, short circuit protection, overcharge protection, uh, 4.15 uh, uh, volts uh, uh, threshold voltage for charging. Um, so pretty good. Okay, here is a charging, uh, well, discharging test. So I've got a fairly discharged phone over here, so it should give me. She should be power hungry, and. Let's see what it what happens. So it's drawing half an amp, and the voltage on the output drops to 4.68 volts. So this is not very good. Um, so it is charging the phone, but it, that means the charge will just take quite a long time. Okay, so this is. Uh, this is a little bit disappointing on the charging side of things. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's putting out uh, I don't know 400 milliamps right now. It uh, it did jump occasionally to uh, there you go uh, 600 milliamps, and the output drops to 4.64 volts, 4.65. Um, so a little bit low actually, but okay, it's. Uh, it's doing the business but um, not so well actually so in 
on this aspect this is not so good so I might actually take that back it's actually a really good battery charger uh, but as far as power bank it's a little bit on a um, on the low side in terms of charger current so six uh, 600 milliamps. Uh, I would have expected a little bit more, but okay, uh, it works. I could, I guess, I could live with uh, 600 milliamps uh, charge current. Okay, and here it is uh, charging. So it's blinking one of the uh, one of the LEDs and the last one. So that's you can tell it's uh, almost full. Oops, and no, it's still blinking. Um, but you see, it's putting in um, 200 milliamps into um, into the battery. So um, each battery gets up roughly about 50 milliamps, so it's uh, really, uh, really low, and it will drop even further, and yeah, it will, it will drop to you know, you know, maybe 20, 30 milliamps on here in the final stage, and it takes really, really uh, quite a bit of time actually to fully charge uh, charge it the way that this is doing it. But uh, as I said before, it's uh, really easy on the batteries, so. Um, it's all good I guess um, so yeah thanks for watching I uh, hope you like the video um, if you're after a half decent power bank look for this they're actually quite uh, quite good and yeah uh, please subscribe for more random stuff uh, for the time being take care